the RGBW strip is uh, on top of my windows over there um, and on my mobile I have two sliders that control uh, the first one top one controls the white and the bottom one controls the RGB colors so uh, I can increase the brightness of the white and of course zero brightness means it's turned off um, and I can select presets that I have predefined here um, as well as pick any from this palette click on save and it changes let me just pick something else select orange save there you go and of course I can control the brightness and if I refresh the the settings actually stay because of how the, the .json files are being um, stored. Just to take you through the setup that I have, so I have an RGBW LED strip here, so you can see the dedicated white LED here, as well as an RGB LED. Um, they are, there are five connections coming out, one power and four ground for each of the white, each of the different colors. I have a breadboard here, which I'm just using for temporary connection. I'm uh, my actual setup is inside a junction box. I have a Raspberry Pi 0W um, with some solders and a power bank just for this demo. Uh, in reality, everything is connected to uh, the wall. And the power that I'm getting here is uh, actually coming from the wall as well. It's just a 12 volt um, connection coming in, connecting to my LED. So I also have these MOSFETs. So I'm using four of them, one for each color. This is a logic level MOSFET, uh, meaning that I can control it using five volts of uh, power. You can look at the voltages for whatever FET you're using. I have the names, the, the model numbers for this on easyprogramming.net and in the description below. So, uh, you know, depending on, the, you should also look at your data sheet to make sure you're connecting them correctly. And you can turn this on multiple, many times uh, a second to get a feeling of PWM, pulse width modulation. So I'm just gonna put this back in and then we'll go to the screen, do a quick installation and see see this work in action. Just to quickly take you through the setup, I just wanna show you that this GitHub repository will be, uh, will have all the information that you will need, including uh, you know, like a demo link. It has a li list of all the hardware, both optional and non-optional, um, as well as prerequisites that you'll need to know. So this assumes that you know how to do a headless Pi, how to run Apache on your Pi running Flask, a uh, Flask behind Apache. Uh, the only thing that's new is using this uh, Pi GPIO D library, uh, but I have steps for how to do that below. The installation, the hardware is also included, so all the pins that I'm using, you are free to change this any way you'd like. Just make sure you change the code as well. And I also have, uh, again, the list of the, the, the two MOSFETs that I used to try this, which is the IRL, IRLU024. They're logic level uh, transistors that lets me control their on and off states using five volts or less of power. Um, if you have something else, just make sure you check the, the data sheet to see if, it, if it'll work, if it'll let your Pi control it um, easily. I also have a fritzing diagram here to give you a better view of what you saw just a minute ago on my table, just to show you the wiring. It's, it's not the most, uh, it's, it's not the clearest, but if you have any questions, do ask. Uh, I'm more than happy to help. And again, the software that you need and how to install the Pi GPIO D library, as well as some information on the front end, uh, which is the only thing you need to change on the front end is the IP address of your Pi in the config. Um, variable and the config object and uh, that's about it so it has a list of all the api endpoints so i already have the setup so i won't go through the setup here so it's in my you know folder in my um var www html rgbw folder here so this is all here how things work is when i make changes the rgb.json so uh it stores the information here so once something changes, uh, these get overwritten. So I'll come back to that. So we'll go here. And so I zoomed in a little bit just to give you a better understanding of what this looks like. So the top one is the white color. So if I do 50%, you can see that uh, the light did go on 50% and uh, it's 25%. If I refresh this page, you know, it's stored here because um, you can see that it's stored here in the JSON. So if I do 75%, if I do cat again, you can see that it changes. So it goes from zero to 255. Uh, that's the pulse of modulation. And then I have the color picker here. Uh, I can click on red. Actually, let me turn this off just to show you. So red, 
you know, orange, there's blue, green, uh, all these colors, and you can pick everything in between. So if I go here, click on this, um, and of course the colors could look a little bit different because what you see on your screen is not what the lights would normally output. And uh, in the developer tools, you can see exactly what requests go at. So it's like API slash LR. So the reason I have LR is because it's in my living room. So if you want to change this, it, you change it in the Apache configurations, which is located, um, which I do give you a copy of in my GitHub in the utils directory. So there you go. So you just have to change the, the script alias here from LR to something else. Of course, zero brightness means off, so I can do that here as well. You know, zero brightness means off. I do that again. Zero brightness means off. If I refresh, you know, it remembers it. Um, so if I do green, orange, it remembers the brightness as well as the color. If you have any questions, do ask. Uh, remember to visit easyprogramming.net for uh, information on how to do pretty much all of this, as I'm building on top of what I've done so far. Uh, Again, this is just using Raspberry Pi. I know there are other ways of doing this, but uh, I didn't do it this way because this was a pretty old project. You can see from my GitHub that uh, I've, I've been planning on doing this for a while now. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.